Bang on that channel, welcome. Right, today I had a message from one of the patrons and they're asking me what files do they actually really need? And uh, when I've looked on websites and tool supplier catalogs and stuff, looked at them, they always do like beginner jeweler packs and they're uh, saying these are all the essential things, things you've got to have. And I always disagree. Uh, there's always things in there that I would say you don't need at all. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what actually what files are actually essential for doing for doing jobs at the bench. So as the needle files are right in front of me, let's go through these. These have accumulated because I do a little job with them. I don't like this many out in front of me, but you do a little job with one specific thing and then it ends up just being put there. So this is the flat one. Uh, I've had this one years, it's got wet, look, got rusty on the end. It's got rounded sides. Um, don't need this one. There's another one that does the job of that one. Tri-square, three-sided ones, very, very useful. Definitely have one of those. Uh, half round, I don't use them that often, but sometimes it's just the right job for what you're gonna do. So I recommend having one of these. I mean, you can buy these in a pack, yeah? Uh, just like a fold out sort of plasticky pack. You, they're gonna have, even one of those packs is gonna have more than you need, but it's nice just to collect exactly what you want and you can get like the nicest quality. It might actually be cheaper and you end up with higher quality ones if you just choose individually what you want. It's definitely three square. I'm going to sort of reluctantly say yes to a half round one. You don't need them that often, but sometimes that curvature is very useful. Round one, yes, you need those. They do seem to wear out quickly compared to other files though. Probably due to the curvature, you're pushing a lot of weight on just on a very small area of surface. Um, yeah, anyway, round one, you need one of those. And it's talking about the grade of these. These are two? Yeah, these are two. Um, this was a new one. This feels smoother. Oh, I didn't say on there. I've got a feeling that was a two, but it feel quite, felt quite fine to me. F Dick is the brand of these, most of these. Quite a nice quality. This is a knife edge, yeah. It's flat there. Goes to a point. Oh, sorry. This is flat. It's a knife edge. It's got that flat there. Uh, goes thinner there. That's what we call it, a knife edge. It's like a knife blade. Goes to a point. I'm going to say you don't need that. Sort of useful, but there's another one that does the job of that. Square, yeah, you need one of these. I'd almost say you get two, get a coarse one and a more fine one. This is a cut two, it's almost too coarse sometimes. I think I bought another one recently, which is going rusty quite badly. Why is that happening? This is also a two. Look, let me show you a close up of these. So these two square needle files. This one on the right is Velorb, Swiss. This one on the left is F Dick, Swiss, both cut two. Look at the difference on the teeth. Hopefully that's showing up clearly. The velorb is much finer. They're both supposed to be cut too, so the numbers don't really mean a lot. <laughs> it's just dependent on the uh, on the brand, I guess. Never really noticed that before, but yeah. I, I actually like having a coarse one and a fine one. Um, it does appear that velorbs have sort of finer teeth for the numbers, so bear that in mind if you're ordering some. But yeah, I find useful having a coarse one and a more fine one, but if you're gonna have one, I think if I'm just gonna choose one, I just go for the Velorb too. That's quite, the corners are sharp, more sharp, so that's more useful. It enables you to get nicer little corners and sharper cuts on things. Right to start my work, I've got a pack of, what was the brand of these? These are Swiss made. Oh, these are F-Dick, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, these are thinner ones, the really sort of smaller size ones. Uh, useful, but you don't need them, like if you, like if you've got that tri-square, you don't need this fine tri-square. Tri just maybe even the bigger size in a finer tooth. Um, yeah, there's a few of these that are useful. Most of them you don't need. So got half round there, tri-square, I'd say you don't need those. This one, safety back, donkey back, brett, whatever they're called. All got different names. This one was good, but they don't go enough. They don't go thin enough. So uh, I've ended up to get it, do specific jobs, like getting the... I got a ring here. Um, like getting it in the in a gate collet, getting it in small gaps and just filing back little bits of lumpy solder or whatever. Um, yeah, it needs to be thinner. So you, I get these. They're thin anyway, but end up making them even thinner, even more delicate. So yeah, useful. And then quite a fine tooth as well. This is totally worn out, and you can see how shiny it is. This is a cut two F dick. This is quite a good one. I almost you don't need it, need it, but just like I said about that half round one specific jobs really really useful so i would get one of these depends on what kind of level what kind of jewelry you're making but for me like doing proper diamond mounting making collets with like little gaps and stuff that need to be tidied up uh, i need this 
that is the same kind of thing. This is one I bought recently. This is a cheap one. Yeah, the same as that. I just, because this one was so worn out, I replaced it basically and it's still on my bench. Don't know why. So yeah, that, that is the same one as that. Again, for my type of jewelry making, it's useful, but you might not need it. Uh, don't need that. That's just a small flat one. Uh, this is the other one I was thinking of. That small size, F dick, cut two. Get, again, useful. Go Rather than go into a point that's flat on the end, that's helped me get right up into very difficult to reach areas. I can just sort of go right up to a, a little wall and scratch things back. Uh, but a lot of jobs like that, I'm doing with paper discs and rubber wheels. Do you need it? Uh, it's difficult. It's come in very useful sometimes, but no, not very often. Don't need it. That's just a new barrette one. I don't know why I don't throw away my old files. Uh, yes, I like these. I've got a few of these. They wear out, they seem to wear out quickly. It's probably due to like, the fact that I use them a lot. Just like that smaller one I just showed you, this is a big version. I would say, I go through stages where I just use them all the time and then like a few months where I barely touch it, I'm just doing, using other files. But this is in my pack of essentials, this one. This is a slightly smaller square file. Do we need that? You've got the bigger one. I'm going to say yes, if you've got a smaller size one and a finer tooth. Again, it's specific for the type of jewellery I'm making. I'm going to say yes, narrowly is going in. Small round one, yep, comes in useful quite a lot. Knife edge one, no. So this one, sort of useful, it's flat, it's got teeth down there, but that go into a point. Sometimes you need the narrow, narrowness to get into a gap, but it's on this curve. You're trying to file something perfectly flat, but... Yeah, I don't know, it just makes it awkward that it goes to a point. I, I think I just prefer that file just going flat. No, you don't need it. Uh, this is just like that donkey back one, but with the point chopped off. I mean, you could get one of these and just snap the top off if you really want that kind of file. Like, all these files are kind of modifiable. Uh, no, don't need that. This was actually, believe it or not, a handmade Japanese one, and it was quite cheap to buy, and I was just interested in it. Do you know what? It's brilliant. Works really well. Um, looked a bit hand makey as well. It's all like it's like burned, heat stained on the on the handle and stuff. But only only that section has got teeth on it. <laughs> but as a file, it works amazing. Uh, do I need it? No, nope. you don't need handmade Japanese needle file. Uh, small square one, totally worn out, very shiny. I've used it loads over the year, but don't need it if you've got one this size. Going even smaller, because this one goes to a point, you don't need it. Uh, this one, I would say, yes, it's flat. My old boss used to use these all the time. Uh, it's flat, it's got teeth down one side. This side uh, did have teeth, I ground them off. I think you can buy them like that. But just being flat on the end, having this perfect right angle, quite a decent flat there, really good for going across the top of collets in between four claw settings and stuff. Uh, yeah, definitely need one of these. This one did go to a point, snapped it off, look. Just needs grinding up and tidying up a little bit. Um, yeah, essentially, I, this one's got teeth? No, it has got teeth, yeah. This, I made basically a bigger version of this. So I actually think the bigger one, probably more useful than the smaller one, just for, yeah, the bigger one. This one was given to me right at the start of my apprenticeship, cut six, don't know what brand is, Union a bale or something says on there. Swiss made, cut six. This has come in really, really useful. It's so sharp, the corners. Uh, I tried to look after this one. It's a bit worn out on the end. I mean, it's probably worn out when it's given to me, but just the sharp, being so, have such fine teeth, it makes it so sharp on the corners. It's really helped me out a lot, getting things really sharp. Uh, I've cut into like solder, like a like kind of lump of solder at the bottom of a claw or something. Cut into it with this and then tidied it up with a rubber wheel. So this has helped me make my work much neater. So I would recommend having at least one or two, even a square or like a tri-square like this one, uh, of a really fine tooth. It can help you make things really neatly. So here we go. Out of all those needle files, all those I'm saying don't really need. They will have their moments where they might be useful, but what you actually need, just these look. So we've got tri-square, round, um, square, safety back and then this flat one with teeth ground off down one side that's quite important that enables you to cut right up to a corner without ruining it and even these small ones essentially the same thing again in a smaller size can can help you out but maybe 
it's being really strict. Just the easelet. That's all I'd say you really need if you're making jewellery. Just the, the standard shapes. Triangle, round, square, safety back. It's just essentially flat in it. And then another flat one with teeth one side and not the other. I mean, maybe being really strict, just these. <laughs> okay, these four. Safety back, square, round, triangle. Think of it that way. Going through the big files I've got, I bought this from a hardware store recently. It's just a flat, like that big needle file I just showed you. Uh, ground down the teeth on one side. I did an exclusive video for the patrons on that recently showing how to do that and explaining the benefits. Did the same on this one. This is really coarse. I bought this just because sometimes I want to really hack into metal. Um, but don't really need them. They're only doing the job of a flat file. Same as this one, really big. Again, has its moments, but not that often, to be honest. Uh, this is really coarse ring file, rounded one side. You can get inside a ring, or you've got the flat, obviously doing the sides or whatever else you're doing. But it's got the top cut off. I don't know why they did that, because sometimes you need that point going to it. So the files I've got, the one that's most useful and does the most jobs is this, just the, what I call a ring file. I think that's a six inch blade. They call it, uh, I think it's 15, they call it 15 mil wide or 13, 14, 15 mil, I don't know. But yeah, about that size. And uh, that's the most useful. I can file inside rings, like cleaning up solder, doing a ring size in. Um, it's got the flat, just go across the sides of the shanks or across collets or just shaping up collets and stuff, whatever you're making. And it goes to a point as well. So sometimes you just need to do a tiny little bit, quite narrow space. Um, yeah, most useful. That's the only, really what's essential. This ring does the most jobs, so. Just that is all you need. And then um, this was quite a coarse one. Cut two is a bit fine, cut one. I I'd go for a zero. Yeah, cut zero. <laughs> I'm just thinking it might give yourself hard work, then you've got to use buff sticks and stuff, um, get rid of the file marks. And cut two doesn't really, I don't know, between cut zero and cut two, whatever you think suits the kind of work you're doing. But for me, I think this was a zero, six inch blade, uh, ring file. That's the one. And just to finish the video off, a quick explanation about the buff sticks I've got. I like to have three. I've had three for years. Like basically something really coarse, like some silly coarse sandpaper one. Uh, it's a bit more of a file than a buff stick. Uh, one thing you've got to be careful with, sandpaper, these little bits of grit, sometimes you get one that stands up more than the others around it. So you can scratch lines on things quite severely. So be careful with them. Like they have their moments, you can see I just file plastic and plaster and all the other little things I get up to. This is my go-to kind of silly one for that. Uh, you don't really need it. I would say a 240 grit, which I think this is, is very useful. That cuts really well through metal. Yeah, yeah maybe don't do that one. Just go for a 240 grit, working on jewelry. And then the paper is nice quality as well. And uh, uh, I said I like three years, so 240, around a 600, I think that is. Uh, useful for getting the marks of that one out and then getting things really smooth, almost polished. Uh, you could polish off of that one, but then I would recommend going for something really fine, like 1200 or even 1500 when you're finishing off platinum. If you do loads of buffing with this one and then move to this one, do loads of buffing on this one, you're really getting all the marks out for getting platinum really nicely polished. So I like to have three just because uh, it enables me to really be confident I'm getting metal really shiny. But do you need them? Not really. If I was going to choose one, I'd probably just go for the middle one, 600. Cuts quite well to keep fresh paper on there. Um, they'll do everything really. Maybe a bit more work than normal to get rid of some deep file marks, but it will do it. And also, it's not far off being, being able to polish out quite easily this kind of finish this leaves behind. So just one buff stick. It's this one. So out of all these tools I've got, for, for my, from my perspective, yeah, doing the kind of jewelry I make on this channel, uh, you can get started doing that and following my videos and making the stuff I make with really just these tools, a 600 grit buff stick and these four needle files. I've got tri-square, safety back, round and square. So that's it, that's all you need, <laughs> just that. <laughs> so there you go, that's, that's what I think really thinking essentials oh sorry and a ring file <laughs> and that as well so just that um just considering what you need what you need to actually make stuff just those so yeah hopefully can save you money if you're looking to start out making stuff uh, that's all that's all you've got to get really um so watch out for these beginners packs from the trade suppliers 
they'll have loads loads of stuff that they say you've got to have and you've got to pay for and you don't actually need it uh yeah i hope this video was helpful to you if you want to help me share more of what i learned over the years you can become a patron or you can click super thanks or you can become a dime out member there's a few little ways all the links are in the description and uh yeah i hope you do and if not you're welcome just to watch and enjoy uh, appreciate you for doing that as well click like and subscribe notification bell and um yeah see you in the next one bye